Hey guys, Steve Welch here, coming to you from my tundra, of course. Um, <clears throat> going to uh, just kind of have the camera set down here so I can talk to you guys. Uh, so I have now had the opportunity to drive my truck in heavy rain, uh, dry, obviously conditions. I don't really do off road, so I can't really uh, talk to that a whole lot. Um, but uh, snow, and it was a fairly substantial snow for around here. And uh, in Tennessee, we don't really have the ability, uh, like a lot of states do, to you know. This, let's just put sometimes for the back roads to get cleared, it could take three, four days after a snowstorm, um, and sometimes it just melts before they even have a chance to get it cleared. So, I, I mean, it, it's that you know we don't normally deal with a lot of bad weather. Um, that being said, it's really good to tell you about how this truck, which is the, I'm, I'm in a limited, of course, it's an iForce Max uh, Tundra, but realistically, the, the four-wheel drive system is going to be similar, right? I mean, obviously, you have the parallel hybrid system in there, but um, that changes it a little bit, but the this truck, and, and the, the latest thing that's happened is that overnight last night, we had an ice storm. So, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you can drive in snow, you know, yay. Well, I'm, I'm originally from the north, so I don't consider snow really the, the biggest test of a vehicle because I'm, I'm kind of used to it. And, and don't get me wrong, I've, been, I've lived in Tennessee for a long time now, so I've been away from it for a while. But I don't consider snow to be a huge test for a four-wheel drive vehicle. It, it should be able to handle snow. But here's the problem, and here, here's the the you know the alternative of that. What do you want to call it? Um, if you put it on ice, the ice is different, guys. So in you know kind of kind of let people know what normally happens in Tennessee, which happened again last night, right? So the you know in in the north, what happens is it's already 20 degrees and it starts snowing, and you get two or three feet of snow, and yeah, down here you know two inches of snow can shut the city down right um but up there it's it's all snow but what happens down here is it usually starts at 40 or 50 we get a cold front that comes through while it's raining and it drops the temperature down to 20 so you know or, or something like you know those lines so what ends up happening is you get this little inversion layer sometimes that you know it used it it's it would have come down as snow and then it turns to freezing rain or sleet or whatever but it puts a coating and i'll show you some pictures of how my truck looked but it puts a coating of ice on everything and i don't care who you are you know you can be the best driver in the snow that's out there nobody can be a great driver on ice all right it's just you know try try to walk you can walk all day long walk on ice you're going you're fumbling and slipping and you're only as good as your shoes are really so um when it comes down to the truck which this truck has bridgestones on it um normally i get michelins uh, if i if i had the choice but uh i tell you what this uh this truck handled the ice extremely well even in two-wheel drive um it's it handled the ice it got me you know got me where i wanted to go i haven't slipped um, like I said, I, I do know a little bit better about how to drive on it. I think, you know, in my opinion, of course, I do know a little bit better about how to drive on it than a lot of the people in Tennessee would. Um, and I'm on the highway now, so the highway is actually pretty clear right now, but the back roads, they were, they were slick. They slid a pretty, uh, pretty good coating of ice on them. And I have to go up several hills to get out of, you know, get out of where I live um, and then down several hills. And then a lot of these hills in the mass wisdom of whoever designed them have sharp corners on the bottom of them. So you, you make a 90 degree turn at the very bottom of a hill and it's like, OK, so, you know, you have to really think ahead of how you drive. Um, so a lot of it's the driver and, you know, toot my own horn that, you know, I, I think I'm okay with that. Um, but a lot of it's the vehicle. So, you know, I have, have my RAV4 and my RAV4 is a, uh, is a two wheel drive and, and no, no, no lie. I was really glad I didn't have my RAV4 yesterday. Um, but, uh, I also have an all wheel drive Highlander. Um, this works better obviously better than the all-wheel drive highlander does um it's very balanced it drives very good it's you know the so when you're talking about the truck in a 
normal setting. It's very smooth. It drives. But what do you want? What do you want with a truck? You want capability, right? You you don't want to have to call in because you can't make it to work. And right now, I'm on my way to the dealership, right? And there are several people that, and I'm not there yet, right? But there are several people that I know will call in, can't get out of my driveway. Or my my roads are covered over, I can't make it. I'm not saying nothing bad about those people. I'm just saying that I understand, but when I'm driving this Tundra, this Tundra is very, very good on these roads. I am greatly impressed. So like I said, I drove it in downpours. I have drove it in uh, about, we'll call it about a foot of snow, a little bit, a little bit less than a foot of snow. Um, but keep in mind, it was on back roads that had not been paved. So you're or not paved, have not been uh, cleared. So um, when you're going over those, there, there wasn't a plow that came through. You're, you're going through two tracks and you're, you know, you're making your own path in a lot of cases. And it's just, it's seriously the only way to get there. Right. So, I mean, you're, you gotta go. Right. So I have been thoroughly impressed, but, uh, now I've had the chance to drive it in, in, in ice. And I think that, uh, from what I understand, we got around a quarter inch or so, maybe a little bit more of ice last night. And we're expecting more tonight and we'll see, uh, we'll see what everybody else does, but I'm confident in my Tundra. When I go and I drive my Tundra, I'm confident in it that it's going to get me there. So is there no other thing that is more important when you drive a vehicle that it number one gets you there and number two obviously gets you there safe um and that is something that i am just thoroughly impressed with the balance of it there's no wheel spin like i said i could drive on the ice and i tried it in just two-wheel drive you know i was going up a hill in two-wheel drive that was ice covered and it didn't i didn't even break the rear wheels loose um, now, obviously, somebody, like I said, that's not uh, been, you know, that didn't grow up in it might not, uh, you know, be able to do that. You know, might hit the gas a little too hard and you could probably break the wheels loose at that point. But the truck has the capability to take care of you. Just don't drive stupid. <laughs> that's, how does that sound? Don't drive stupid, guys. Um, that should be a slogan for me. Don't drive stupid. Anyway, um, <laughs> another thing I want to say, too, is don't get over overconfident in your abilities um, I know I've said I'm from the north so I might be a little bit better at this than some of the people down here um, I don't try to think that I'm, I'm you know better than mother nature let's put it that way um, I know the dangers and I respect the dangers and I try to stay within the limits of my vehicle and what I think it can do um, I've just been very impressed with what it can do. So, um, but uh, it can do a little bit more than what I even thought. But I still drive carefully. I still try to make sure that uh, whenever I'm behind the wheel, that I'm taking into account and always have an out plan. Um, learned that on my motorcycle when I had had my motorcycle wreck. Um, I always suggest to people you should always have two outs. So if you're you're driving down the road, just keep thinking and, and think ahead that if the car in front of you slams on the brakes, what do you do? Um, you know, if the car in front of you spun out, so we're in this, this kind of weather here, if the car in front of you was to spin out right now, what would you do? So if you're listening to this and you're driving, what would you do if your car spun out, if that car spun out right in front of you? And, and where would you go? So, you know, do you see a ditch? Do you see an open lane? You should constantly be watching for that kind of stuff. In bad weather, you should increase the car lengths uh, to the car ahead of you. So what's a car length? I mean, just think about it, you know, right? But you should you should not be on somebody's bumper even when there's patchy ice or patchy snow or even, you know, rain, right? So you can hydroplane and stuff like that. People can all of a sudden have a need to hit the brakes or some people can just do it just to be a jerk, right? You know, and slam the brakes on you and you ram into the back of them. It's the only reason to have a dash camera because it's their fault, right? Um, but, uh, you know, just kind of watch and you can, uh, you know, prepare yourself for um, what's, you know, what's ahead of you, what's coming up and what you think uh, that driver could do in front of you. 
and realize they might not be the smartest cookie in the cookie jar, right? So just always, always try to prepare. Don't over, uh, you know, don't, don't be overconfident in your abilities or your vehicle's capability. Don't think that four wheel drive gives you the ability to drive like an idiot don't right because here, here's the thing like i said us us from the north you know i i didn't start off with four-wheel drive vehicles and and one of the main reasons for that is that you know my my parents knew i would be overconfident and think that a four-wheel drive car gave me carte blanche and i can do whatever i want to and my car is going to save me and, and they were right because that's exactly what i would have thought but a couple of spin outs and a couple of uh you know accidents that i've had in the snow you know back when i was young taught me that you really need to respect it you really need to you know you use the four-wheel drive as a tool to make you a little more safe it does not mean that you can be an idiot don't drive 50 in ice you know don't don't drive you know when you got a blizzard condition don't go you know freaking the speed limit while you're driving down the road and everybody else is going 20 don't be that person um now, you can be all the confident that you want to be, but you're, I, I always say, look, I have a really good saying that I tell people, and I, at least I think it's really good, and I say that, you know, a lot of times when you're driving in ice in, in Tennessee and Nashville, a lot of times when you're driving in ice, all that means, and, and when you have four-wheel drive, all that means is that all four wheels will be spinning as you go into the ditch, because it's very, very hard to drive on ice. It's almost impossible. You need to respect it. You need to drive in a manner that is, you know, even almost too safe for the roads, right? Um, now, don't if if you have to drive five miles an hour to try to get somewhere, now you're a problem. So, uh, don't go too slow either. You know, you need to kind of, you know, gauge what the rest of the traffic's doing, and, and hopefully you can keep up with it. Uh, but if you're just petrified of going out and being in, you know, bad weather, you probably should try not to do that just wanted to add that uh, because uh, I know how people are so um, don't over uh, don't don't be overconfident in your ability uh, don't be overconfident in your vehicle's ability and don't be uh, overconfident in your peers <laughs> don't don't think they know what the right thing to do is assume that they're gonna be stupid and if you assume that everybody around you is stupid you'll probably find that in most cases you're right um, <laughs> just say it right so or at least at you know here or there you will be right but, but yeah guys <clears throat> but yeah guys really impressed with the truck handles extremely well when it comes to ice and snow showed you guys some pictures there about what we dealt with and uh, uh, looking forward to more tonight but uh, definitely impressed with Tundra. This one's a 23, by the way, uh, but change the body style 22. No, the 24 is going to be the same thing, I'm sure. Um, but 22, 23, 24, and, and beyond. Tundra, you guys in San Antonio, appreciate y'all. Built the truck, did a really good job, and uh, see you guys on the next one. You guys have a great day.